Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 13. Thus says Yahuwah unto me, Go and get you a linen belt, and put it upon your loins, and put it not in water. So I got an eth belt, according to the word of Yahuwah, and put it on my loins. And the word of Yahuwah came unto me the second time, saying, Take eth the belt that you have got, which is upon your loins, and arise, go to Parath, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. So I went and hid it by Parath, as Yahuwah commanded me. And it came to pass, after many days, that Yahuwah said unto me, Arise, go to Parath, and take at the belt from thence, which I commanded you to hide there. Then I went to Parath and dug, and took out the belt from the place where I had hid it. And behold, the belt was marred. It was profitable for nothing. Then the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, after this manner will I mar at the pride of Yahudah, and at the great pride of Yerushalayim. This evil people, which refuse to hear at my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other Elohim to serve them and to worship them, shall even be as this belt, which is good for nothing. For as the belt cleaves to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me at the whole house of Yashadael, and at the whole house of Yahuda, says Yahuwah, that they might be unto me for a people, and for a name, and for a praise, and for a glory. But they would not hear. Therefore you shall speak unto them at this word. Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto you, Do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shall you say unto them, Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I will fill eth all the inhabitants of this land, even eth the kings that sit upon David's throne, and eth the priests, and eth the prophets, and eth all the inhabitants of Yerushalayim with drunkenness. And I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the, th the sons together, says Yahuwah. I will not pity, nor spare, nor have mercy, but destroy them. Hear ye and give ear. Be not proud, for Yahuwah has spoken. Give glory to Yahuwah, Eloheikem, before he causes darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains, and while ye look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death, and make it gross darkness. But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride, and my eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears. Because Yahuwah's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourselves, sit down, for your principalities shall come down, even the crown of your glory. The cities of the Negev shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Yahudah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes, and behold them that come from the north. Where is the flock that was given you, your beautiful flock? What will you say when he shall punish you? For you have taught them to be captains, and as chief over you. Shall not sorrows take you, as a woman in travail? And if you say in your heart, Wherefore come these things upon me? For the greatness of your iniquity are your skirts discovered and your heels made bare. Can the cushy change his skin or the leopard his spots?
then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passes away by the wind of the wilderness. This is your lot, the portion of your measures from me, says Yahuwah. Because you have forgotten me and trusted in falsehood, therefore will I discover your skirts upon your face that your shame may appear. I have seen your adulteries and your nighings, the lewdness of your whoredom and your abominations on the hills in the fields. Woe unto you, O Yerushalayim! Will you not be made clean? When shall it once be?